Hi, welcome to Pocket Knives and Harmonicas. I'm Brenny, coming to you from the lake today. Let's do a little panoramic. I've got this whole place to myself. You know, it's a little reedy down this end, opens up kind of out there. Maybe not the best lake in the world, but you know, any lake that you have completely to yourself has to be considered one of the best lakes in the world. Hey, today I wanted to talk to you about this mini Benchmade bug out. I just uh, picked this up not too long ago, a few months ago. Um, uh, make a long story short, about uh, seven, eight years ago, I started uh, struggling more and more with my post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, I've been a harm reduction worker for 30 years now, working in um, zero eviction housing, running a needle exchange most recently. I've done that for the last 20 years in a, a rural part of BC that's not very far from Vancouver. Um, so we are definitely touched by uh, Vancouver and all that it has to offer uh, in terms of drug use and, and poison drug supply and that sort of thing. Well, as my PTSD got worse, I, I knew I needed to make some changes. I had to liquidate some assets and one one thing le led to another I was able to pay off my main mortgage on my house that my family and I live in and uh, cherish and to celebrate being mortgage free this is what I bought for myself a mini Benchmade bug out this is the the pimped out version with carbon fiber scales and uh, s90 um, blade steel blue thumb studs blue back spacer back spacer sorry i just put a little lanyard on there yeah really nice knife this is my first bench made my first experience handling a bench made uh, um, not disappointed very refined feeling knife um, works extremely well possibly a little bit small it's fine for thumb flick I find it a little bit hard to do the spidey flick, but hey, I like small knives. Uh, I still am glad I got the mini and not the full size. But you know what I've noticed? I, I'm a traditional knife guy. What I've noticed is this knife just doesn't have the soul that my traditional knives have. There's something about my traditional knives that it, it's more than just a tool, more than just a, a knife. Like they really speak to me, the ones that I carry. And, and I do carry this and it, it's just a little bit sterile is what I find. The, the, the tolerances are just so tight, you know, like the machining is so good. Everything fits so perfectly it, it's almost too perfect you know it it just feels I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say I, I do like this knife a lot but I just question does this knife has have soul like a traditional knife has soul anyhow I hope you guys have a great day I could sure use a subscribe on this channel I just hit 10 subscribers can you believe it 10 subscribers should I do a giveaway no, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to have a few more subscribers. I, I mean, I'm, it's not about tons of subscribers, but I am trying to connect with life again. You know, I've, I've uh, been struggling and, and this is one of the ways I'm trying to reach out and I love to uh, make connection with the knife community. So, you know, it is what it is. People either dig what you're serving or they don't and that's that. But Hey, I hope you guys have a great day, and that's it from me. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.